I think I can safely say for the very first time ever that I am genuinely impressed by an update that KOG Games is pushing out for Kurt's Pal. This is perhaps the largest content update ever and is likely going to change the game entirely. Not only are they adding in an entirely new PvE progression system, but they're also introducing full actual PvE dungeons. They're reintroducing the story along with various different story related elements. And you know what? These updates could actually turn Kurt's Pal into a game that is worth going back to and playing again. Maybe. Now, KOG Games went ahead and posted this update over on the official Steam page. They titled it Kurtzfell's Upcoming Update Announcement. I'm going to go ahead here and read through it briefly, and I'll probably go ahead and look at the trailer of the quote-unquote in-development PvE combat, along with the PvE combat revamp and the story teaser. So I urge you guys to go ahead, I don't know, like grab some popcorn or something, just sit back, and let's go ahead and do this. Hello, Chief. It has been a long time coming, but we are finally here with some exciting news for the future of Kurtzpal. We have been hard at work to bring you a content update that would be impactful and meaningful to Kurtzpal, and we are finally here to tell you all about it. New PvE Dungeons. We're changing the way you play PvE in Kurtzpal with all the new PvE dungeons. You'll go through sections of a dungeon and fight countless monsters along the way before fighting the boss at the end. Now, I'm going to go ahead here and... I'll turn this down a little bit, but I'm gonna go ahead here and take a look at this. Uh, do note, I have not looked at this at all. This is this is fresh for me. But as you guys were aware, for I don't know how long now, the game has been a PvP game. That's pretty much all it's been. They removed all PvE elements from Kurtzpal. So, seeing that they are reintroducing PvE elements, that they are including actual dungeons into the game, like, that is a great step in the right direction. Although it does look like the dungeons are probably going to be limited to uh, a maximum of three players. Yeah. About what you'd expect. Oh, here's a here's a boss fight. We Yomi is is almost dead. They uh they're in. They're clearly in need of a lot of help here. When the boss gets killed, do you get uh, loot drops then? Oh. Oh, they, they didn't they didn't show us I mean you know what that that looked kind of cool as long as there are a variety of different dungeons I can see that being a very fun feature PVE character progression and PVE equipment your character will now level up from gaining exp from PVE dungeons and you'll also receive PVE equipment from clearing dungeons or completing quests PVE equipment will have different item grades with stats so you'll be able to optimize the perfect gear for your playstyle lastly these new PVE equipment will not affect PvP in any way shape or form so you won't have to worry about feeling like you're forced to play either pvp or pve and this is this is a good choice for them a good direction to take it because they are separating both pvp and pve i know that this is an issue that players a lot of players actually had with world of warcraft world of warcraft and blizzard are still very uh very fixated on having the two different modes integrated in terms of gear and gear progression pve combat mechanic changes the combat mechanic and system in PvP will remain untouched, but in order to make the PvE experience more fun and exciting, we're making some changes to how some of them work in PvE. How some how some of them, like some of 
them the, the characters movement will no longer cost stamina oh that is refreshing blazing fist can now grab multiple enemies at once karma switching attack will not have any cooldown chase attack can now hit multiple targets lift up multiple enemies at once and cooldown on skills will be decreased this is only going to affect pve as noted so you guys don't have to concern yourselves if you are only going to be playing the pvp aspect of the game i guess we'll take a quick look at the pve combat revamp here although admittedly i really only played the uh the mage so i mean i know this is probably going to be uh this is going to appeal to a lot of players but I feel like, honestly, I don't even need my headset on for this. Is there, it, it's literally just like background sound. Well, yeah, that's that's pretty self-explanatory. The potion system. Potions will be added to PvE. These potions will only work in PvE and can restore HP and MP. This will increase the amount of skills you can use during combat without feeling helpless once your HP or MP runs out. The resurrection system. You'll now be able to resurrect not only yourself, but your allies using your resurrection stones. This is also a PvE-only feature. I bet you, and I'm not, don't quote me here, but I bet you, you're going to be able to buy these resurrection stones in the store. I'm like 90 97% sure that this is going to be a thing. We are adding a quest system to share the lore and story of Kurtzpah to our fellow chasers. The quest system will not only serve as a means to expand the story of Kurtzpah, but to also work as a guide for players to continue their PvE progression. There will also be helpful items provided as a reward for completing certain quests. And you can see this is what the questing system is going to look like. Epic quests and Altheca quests. So essentially they're making this like much more RPG focused, much more like an MMO actually. Andy Story. You can now discover the story of Kurtzbell by playing through the new PvE dungeons. As you clear more dungeons, you'll find more about the dungeons and the region that they are in. Let's go ahead and take a quick look at the, the story teaser. Wait, this is not voiced at all? No, it, it's not. Okay, okay well, <clears throat> allow, me to, uh, allow me to remedy that for you guys. <clears throat> let, me, let me boot out my uh, professional voice acting skills here. <clears throat> Bellatil's theocracy serves the all-powerful Bell. For hundreds of years, they have led to the Purification War where they killed countless lives under the name of Bell. I know I'm doing great. However, there were those who dedicated their life to fight back. The bringers of chaos, Kurtzpel, formed an organization called the Chase to save innocents from Balatos. Meanwhile, a suspicious activity of Balatos was spotted at the ruins of the eastern continent. I bet a bunch of you guys have already closed out of the, the video at this point. <laughs> Captain Ensure quickly dispatched skill chasers to investigate. Oh. Oh, that was it. Ah. Uh, okay. We will also work on the following for the future. Challenging PvE content, continued updates of dungeons and karmas, continued updates of characters and equipment growth, new PvP modes, updates that impact the stale PvP meta. Please note that the video and screenshots shown above are not final and can differ from the final product. We hope you're excited about the upcoming changes and we hope to bring it to you as soon as possible. Please continue to support us and send us your valuable feedback. We'll continue to update everyone as soon as we have more news about Kurtzpel's future contents. Lastly, the above content will be coming to Kurtzpel before the end of November so before the end of this month so like in the next week or two that's kind of exciting right Kurtzpel has always had some really incredibly engaging combat but it always felt very limiting in terms of actual content to consume it was essentially a pvp game with very little forms of actual pvp there was content initially outside of the pvp content you could fight various types of bosses with another player but for the most part this has always been a pvp game with the inclusion of the various different types of pve content players that 
aren't interested in versing one another will finally have a reason to log in and play. While the game will no doubt still be entirely pay to win, as all KOG games are, I feel like this is a fantastic step in the right direction. Dungeons, PvE progression, story. Seriously, KOG games, thank you for listening to what players actually want out of this game. Hopefully it ends up working out for you guys, but at the same time, I don't know why you guys removed the story in the first place. That was a really weird direction to take the game. But this is just my opinion, my impressions of the game and its upcoming update. What do you guys think? Does this look exciting? Are you excited to get into the game and try this new PvE content out? Do you think it's enough to warrant coming back to the game? Let me know down in the comments below and let's talk about it. Anyway, guys, that is it for me. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe for more content like this and I'll see you guys next time. Mm. Mm.